what is going on everybody good morning you know we were just before sunrise we're out here beautiful Galveston Texas and uh, we're gonna be fishing the West Bay area just a little bit um, it, this is the maiden voyage of this kayak I'm in this is uh, a friend of mine Eric's this is his kayak and uh, his drive is squeaky I don't know if um, if you come across a squeaky drive, maybe you can tell me what, what I need to do uh, to make it not squeaky. Um, this first time I've, I've heard it, this first time I've been in this this kayak. Uh, Eric, my friend, you know, he's he broke my heart. He moved to, he broke my heart, he moved to Vegas. And uh, he's been wanting to make this move for several years now. And the thing that was holding him up was him selling his kayak. So, uh, like a good friend that I am... Not that I wanted another kayak in my garage, but I said, hey, you know what, Eric? I'll buy the kayak from you so you can go out there and, and reunite with your brother and, and do all the stuff that, that you guys want to do and, and get out there and, and better yourself and, and so on and so forth. So um, anyway, I'm in this kayak this morning, and uh, I'm going to be targeting some flounder. We came out here last video uh, when i fished with him and uh, captain cody we came on here and we caught some flounder so i wanted to come back i wanted to test the kayak out um my newly purchased from him new to me kayak i wanted to test it out and see if i can catch some of those flounder i'm starting with a couple tandem gulp and fish a little bit around some reefs right here before i get back into the lake and uh see if i can get back in there and catch some flounder but hey thanks for watching <laughs> Don't forget, comment, subscribe, like, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously. And um, beautiful morning. No wind. Like two mile an hour winds. You know, it's a great weather window for me to get out here. And uh, I couldn't wait. So I'm going to get going. And hopefully this squeaking will stop because it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> but thanks, guys. All right. So like I said before, I'm starting the day off with the tandem gulp. And this... Setup is pretty easy. I have a swivel that's connecting my my main line, and to the, at this swivel, I have a couple loop knots and two lines. One's tied off, and two it's wrapped up. One's tied off to a gulp swim shad, shimmer shad. I can't remember what it's called. It's but it's a shad, and it's made by gulp. And this is the the shorter line, so it's a little higher up. And that's a uh, smaller jig head and a heavier jig head on bottom. It has a white shrimp with a pink tail, both by gulp, and 30 pound fluorocarbon leader line. And this is an awesome reel. I really like this reel. I've used it one time so far, and uh, I'm going to use it again this morning. Kind of my main, my main reel this morning. Uh, decent rod, too, castaway. We had a full moon. So that's going to probably put a damper on the bite uh, a little bit. We had low tide around 4 o'clock, and then it's going to start coming back in. So I'm uh, going to have an incoming tide the rest of the day or the rest of the time I'm out here fishing. The water visibility looks excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It's not too cold. Probably in the you know mid to high 60s. bottom a little bit and bounce a little bit for a flounder I'll kind of let it fall through the water column for a trout but I flatties on the brain today I like to hit that right here as we pass it Let's see if I can get a cast on it right here off the side there we go kinda bring it into me a little bit I'm gonna let this push me through and then I'm gonna turn around and come back. Oh, there's a fish right there. There's a flounder. Yep, perfect. Right next to that rock. Right next to that rock. He feels feels a little good fish, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. That's a little red. It kind of darted a little back and forth a little bit to be a flatty to me. But yeah, he's a little red. We don't need to net him. Kind of felt like a flounder just because he picked it right off the bottom but a little red you know nice nice little fish first fish of the day not complaining 
at all. A little guy right here. We're we got him on that on the white goat pink tail. Tricked him. I thought I was gonna get a little morning snack. He's pretty pretty little guy. Pretty little fish. I'm gonna get him off and get him on the way. We got a couple of H2O Express jig heads. Looking around, I'm not seeing too much. It really, not seeing anything still. No, uh, no fish feeding. You have those days, and, and we were forecasted to have a slow bite today, and it's and it's produced just to be just that, you know. It's definitely shown that, and not not just the fact that I've only caught one fish, but the fact that we're just not seeing them feeding. We're not seeing, you know blade getting blown up we're not seeing nervous water we're not seeing you know wakes getting pushed or anything getting pushed on the uh on the grass line so it is what it is you know we'll keep casting we'll keep casting it was gonna be a slow slow bite it was gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a grind today but oh there's somebody right there someone just thumped it thump so i felt something small might be a little undersized flounder but wait for him to dump it again. He's definitely there. See the I'm checking my rod tips loading up as I as I pull on it a little bit so it loads up. So if he's not gonna dump it again, I'm just gonna reel down. Typically I don't wait at all. I just set the hook. But I wasn't sure if it was a flounder or if it was like a a smaller bait fish. Like just just pecking at it. But it's a decent sized flounder. It's a nice flounder. He hit it hard. So let's see if we can get this guy in, in the, on the boat. Ah. Oh, that's a nice guy. So I was surprised, like I was saying, a surprise there hadn't been one already. And uh, this guy, nice big one too. And just a real subtle bump. That's all it was. Just a subtle one. And he's going to be slot. He's definitely be slot. He got it on that, that black with the... Um, there you go. I knew you coming. He got it on the black. It's silver and black. Black with silver flakes. Shad. And look, see, this is what you're feeding. It's kind of why I put that shad on. Let's go look. They're feeding on these real small little bait fish right here. And that black with silver flakes really offers, kind of mimics the same kind of kind of deal that they can that uh, that they're feeding on and it's really important to to uh to use what they're uh use something that mimics with the bait that's in the water you match the hatch guys mouth to open he pretty much swallowed the lure um hope we can get it out with no fuss <clears throat> there we go there we go guy Oh, goodness. Nice big one. Nice. Good size one. Good size fish right here. We'll see if we can tend to them. Yep. Down this row, what I was afraid of, I might have to come up come up with something to, uh, to put them on the stringer because I, I didn't bring a stringer, and I always do. Um just you know so much grabbing so much stuff and transitioning from my kayak to, to this to this new to me kayak and uh just so much stuff to grab and remember and all that so we're gonna put them on i'll put them on something we'll figure something out and uh he's gonna be just under 17 inches maybe about half an inch shy of 17 and nice guy nice beautiful beautiful flounder right there you know problem with that there's another one there's another one right there very subtle bite again very very subtle bite
There it goes. <sighs> Little's a little smaller. Again, very soft bite. <sighs> little guy. Little baby. No harm, no foul. He's gone. fish let's see there we go another small flounder oh maybe he's not small yeah it's gonna be small i think Get up quick uh, oh he's holding down pretty good uh, oh that's a nice one yeah he's gonna keep slot for sure uh, there we go whoo nice uh, just trying to get them on their little drop off right here. I can see, you know, having these nice polarized lenses. You can see where it's shallower when it curves down and drops down. It's always real important to have a nice pair of sunglasses. So these water lands uh, come in clutch. I love them. And uh, just able to see that drop off and poof, that's where I got this big boy. Ooh, a lot of cast for you, buddy. A lot of cast for you. But we got you. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. He's uh, 18 and a quarter almost. It's about 18 and a quarter. Nice guy. Decent guy. Too bad he's in the shadow there, but decent guy, nevertheless. There he goes right here. <laughs> nice fish. Nice big one. I'll get him off and. Uh, Get them off and put them on that stringy, stringy, the poop. But that's going to do it, guys. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. You know, I... I not really flounder season but i love catching flounder and uh, i wanted to get some more flounder um, had a trip over here not too long ago with captain cody and eric so i wanted to come back and take eric's kayak out and uh and uh, eric's old kayak new to me kayak and uh wanted to come out here and see if i can you know kind of test it out a little bit get a good feel for it and see if i can catch a flatty or two and i did you know caught a couple you know, just ran all day with gope. You know, gope, 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 gope. Just goped it up today. Um, going forward, probably going to switch gears a little bit and start fishing more of the jetties and uh, more of the uh, that open area and that channel over there. Uh, look for some sheephead and look for some black drum. Uh, as far as offshore stuff, we'll probably start changing that over more. And doing a little bit more deep drop on the on the boat there. So if you haven't subscribed yet to Up Above Adventures YouTube channel, uh, go and go over there and uh, subscribe to that channel. I record and, and edit uh, like 99% of all the stuff over there. Most of all the stuff, everything recent um, uh, going forward, I, I edit and post. And also their social media page, Facebook and Instagram. Um, I do a lot of posting over there as well so head over there uh, like follow and subscribe to those guys like follow subscribe share to this channel as well if you have any questions you know leave them below um, maybe myself or somebody else can can uh, answer that for you uh, but yeah I appreciate you guys a bit of a slow day 
but hey there's no other place i'd rather be than than on the water with you guys so thanks again hope next time you catch me hooking up